Hello, it's Greg Tardif. Shaving with Greg Tardif, I appreciate you watching. I test a lot of safety razors and, you know, I review them too. So I I want to share with you how I try out new, new safety razors. And I want to hear from you and let me know if there's differences in processes. Process, if you're in Canada, which is where this razor is coming from that I'm about to start testing. Ha! Yes! F yeah! The first thing you've got to do when you get a new razor, you got to unbox it. You just got it. You got to unbox it. Let's go do that. Now that we've opened this razor, now I, step two is to inspect it. And shave it shadow. Now the first blade I always put in any new razor is the Astra Superior Platinum. So I'll go ahead and load that up. When I'm testing out a razor, razors are pretty important for me to get a good baseline. So I, I always put Astra Superior Platinums in a new razor for the first few shaves because it's it's what I use, it's what I like. Uh, I like those razors a lot. There are some other blades that I like to use in my safety razors while I'm testing it out, not just the Astra Superior Platinums. I go with the treat, the carbon steel ones because I really like those blades as well. Uh, that's usually the second blade I'll try in a safety razor that I'm testing out. I usually go with my least favorite one on the next go around, uh, that being the feathers. I'm not a huge fan. I know there's super fans out there, just not for me, I don't think. But I keep trying them in different razors. Maybe one day it'll be, it'll surprise me. I was kind of surprised by it after I tried it in a Tatara Muramasa. Anyways, the final blade that I'll try it in while I'm reviewing or checking out and putting a new razor through its paces, uh, the Nassets. Those are those are good. Those are pretty sharp. Last a good amount of shaves, and just you know, kind of getting my bearings. Now, the next thing we gotta talk about here, when we're trying out a new razor, I've covered the blades. I like to have a consistent blade that I always use in every razor and have an idea of what it does. And I want to do the same with the shaving soaps. And this shaving soap is something that I've been super into for the previous two years or so, and that's the uh, Shave Mercantile soap line. Uh, their soap base is really good. This one here is the Classic Country Barber. I use that every first shave I have with a new razor. Uh, the goal here is to take any question marks out on whether if it was the, the razor blade or the soap, and just know that if there's any hiccups, hangups, or whatevers, uh, it can be the, the razor's fault. Second soap that I like to use in my, my, my trying of a new razor, Mitchell's Wool Fat. I had to make this little, little thing myself, but I, I like it because it's a heavy duty, heavy duty. Uh, um, it's, it's a good tallow based or lanolin based soap. And uh, it's just, something I do and I, I get good results out of that too and then I also like to throw in a cremo it says brushless I like to little, get some lather going I use the cooling formula because I'm pretty cool oh and I, I don't like the original scent When it comes to the shave portion, actually using the razor, I like to do two pass shaves. Um, 
figuring out a new razor. And the shaves themselves are usually with the grain and across the grain, and then also some shaves with the grain and against the grain. Uh, I don't typically like against the grain shaving for myself, but maybe sometimes I'll be surprised and have like a really good shave. I don't know. I do like to take notes while I'm doing the, uh, the shave just off to the side. I don't know that you need to do that. I do that because I'm gonna review this in a video and I wanna remember as much as possible. And uh, so that helps me. So that's how I test new razors to see if it's good for me. And hopefully they'll be good for you too. Uh, if you have anything different that you'd like to add or suggest that I try out next time I try a new razor, hey, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And if you wanna see the review for the Shave It Shave Co. Shadow Safety Razor, I'll have a review for that probably next week, so go ahead and subscribe. But if this is in the future, it'll probably be right here. So I appreciate you watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye.